Hello once again, Internet. Me, Carmen, coming right back at you with my dad. Say hello, say hello wonderful people, Dad. Hello, wonderful people. Uh, we're in the car. It's a Sunday. We're in the car. It's a Sunday. Taking it easy on a Sunday. Take it, thinking about the universe and life and how everything sort of interconnects. It's a pretty nice day out. It was raining earlier. Now it's starting to get sunny. And I'm just uh, taking it easy, pretty much. See where the world takes us. How are you doing today, Dad? All right, man. Hanging out, chilling. Yeah. We are driving through Yorktown, Virginia, right now. We're thinking about getting a bite to eat at this uh, buffet up the road, Jenny's. We'll see how it goes. Still not quite sure about it yet, but we'll see what happens. If you think about it, humans are sort of like stars. We. Are both stars and humans burn off energy. We both give off heat, and both stars and humans can shine. What do you think of that analogy, Dad? Pretty good. Yeah. What do you think of stars? I think they're pretty hot, man. Pretty hot. I, I always like sitting outside and star watching. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I, I find stars sort of interesting. I'm not like a astronomer, but I don't... I do not mind staying outside and staring at the stars myself. I find it quite nice. As you can see, there's no stars out right now. In the wintertime, it's sort of a hard time to stare at stars. I think the best time to like lay down and just stare at the stars is in the summertime. Like just on nice, this is a construction zone, I'm sorry for the bumpiness. On a nice summer night, just sitting outside and staring at the stars. Like sometimes I'll just like go outside and lay down in the grass and like stare at the stars, but that's sort of hard to do during the wintertime. Especially when it's cold outside. Do you ever lay outside and stare at the stars, Dad? No, I haven't in a long time. You haven't in a long time? Mm -hmm. Not in a long time. I we are now pulling into Jenny's. I probably won't bring my camera in here because it's a restaurant and we're just going to be eating. Not really much exciting to see here, but I guess we'll let you know what we think of it. All right, we just got done eating at Jenny's. What do you think, Dad? I thought it was all right. They had a pretty good selection. It's a little bit home style country music's not my favorite yeah i i liked it all right it wasn't really my cup of tea but it was pretty much your average american buffet they had fried chicken uh, what were some of the things they had they had shrimp and they had scallops boiled and fried scallops and they had ribs and they had collards and pinto beans and black eyed peas and they had mashed potatoes and rice and gravy chicken gravy and bit burger gravy and <clears throat> there you go you heard it here first <laughs> dad where are we now we are on route 17 in york county where, we, where we, did you want to go i don't know maybe we could check out seaford or look through yorktown a little bit know how long we should spend we're just uh exploring taking a look around what would this area be considered like what would they call this area would you consider this grafton or is this like uh, outside of that uh, yeah Sort of on the outskirts of Grafton, that's a part of York. And Yorktown, like actual Yorktown, like where the historic battle is, is over that direction. York, a lot of Yorktown is a lot of, there's a lot of bedroom communities, sort of like just little neighborhoods, houses, whatnot. Nothing too exciting here, just sort of suburban. You think that's an accurate description? Yeah. Right now, look at that, power lines transmission there's a there's the Yorktown power plant over that way I don't know if the, I think that's what they call it Yorktown power station that's a coal plant I think they're going to shut down in a couple of years from now as uh, they continue as America continues to shift away from coal power this is I'm not sure what road this is I think I know this road's this is Goodwin Neck Road right here we're stopping at now we're going to turn I guess turn left on down there there's a grocery store and a couple other shops and uh over we keep driving this way there's a couple neighborhoods and that'll take you into an area called Seaford. Stoplight this is Wolf Trap Road. Stoplight after this is uh where we turn off to get into Seaford. That's a little smaller area. Uh a part of Yorktown sort of, but not really. It's sort of a real bedroom community. There's a lot of small neighborhoods inside it, but sort of a nice area to drive through. Very uh peaceful, I guess you could say. There's a couple of uh, business, not really like retail businesses, there's a couple of uh, places that have 
offices or whatnot around Coca here, but plant. yeah, Coca-Cola plant. Not really much down here though. VDOT, Virginia Department of Transportation. This is Seaford Road. We're going down right now. You'll be able to see on the left and right there's houses scattered throughout. Sort of an interesting little area. A, a, a mix of old and new, I guess you could say. But it's very residential. There's not much down here. It's maybe like a convenience store if you keep going down the road. There's really not much down here other than houses. Lots and lots of houses and whatnot. Jim Young Industrial Park. We're just about to pass Seaford Elementary School on the left. There you go. I think uh, some more neighborhoods on the right. There's a church coming up. Where's the Seaford Country Market at? Down here a little further. That's, uh, can you tell them about some about that? They have pizzas and subs. Do you know how long it's been there? Not, well, it closed down a few times, it changed hands. It closed down and just reopened again. It originally was back in the 70s called Burnett's. Burnett's? Yeah, it was a family named Burnett. It had a Burnett store there. Hmm. But that building's been there a long time, hasn't it? Mm hmm. Zion United Methodist Church. This is pretty much, I guess, would you say this is sort of like the town center of Seaford, even though Seaford isn't a real town, but... I guess. You guess? This is a Seaford Country Market. Been here for a long time. This is Seaford Road right here. And this is Seaford Country Market. How... Do you ever remember a time this wasn't here? No. <laughs> All right, this is Back Creek Road right here. This is a, we're now heading towards leaving Seaford. I think this would still be considered Seaford. What do you think, Dad? This is still Seaford. If you look to the right, you'll see Fire Station six. Fire Station 6 serving the Seaford area. That's a County of York Fire Station number 6, that is, for anyone wondering. Not that, I'm not sure y'all are that worried about it, but I just thought I'd point that out. We're coming to, what road is this? Well, I mean, know what road it is that we're coming to at the end here, but what's it called? Goodwin Neck. Goodwin Neck. We're coming to Goodwin Neck Road, and we're going to take a left here. and probably start heading towards getting out of Yorktown, which is probably just about the edge of Seaford. But if you go down that road, which it might be another adventure for another video, you'll go down to a little neighborhood dandy is down that way. And uh, this will take you back towards uh, the main drag if you keep driving down this way. Route 17. We are now driving towards the area that most people would actually consider Yorktown. Yorktown is over that way, the actual town itself. There's not really too much to it. There's been a lot of built up recently, like in the past 10 or 20 years, tourists or stuff, but there's a lot of history there, for sure. And a pretty nice beach. We'll probably drive through Yorktown real quick, but we're not going to get out and go anywhere. It might, it might be a good topic for another video though in the future. If you all want to see that, leave a comment below. This is the Yorktown Monument on the right. Honoring the victory over the English. Lots of historic buildings. Orangeby House Inn. This will take us down to the waterfront. You can see the York River right there. We're pretty close to it. This is, I think this is a one-way street, but yeah. I'm not this street like we're coming into, but the street we're just driving down. And that's a park area. I guess that's closed for today. Closed for the season, probably. Yeah. Not many people at the beach this time of year. Most of the tourism comes in the summer and around the holidays.
there's the Coleman Bridge that connects York and Gloucester. And this is the beach. I'll put down the window. But. Well, I think we're on Water Street right now. Yeah. This is a lot of the newer area of Yorktown, right? This little strip right here, the Ben Jerry's. All of these buildings are were only built in the last 10 or 15 years. When we were going through a town, a lot of that was older stuff. These buildings are just sort of themed to look older. Like all of this is pretty much new. Uh, that vent building hasn't been there for more than 15 years. Those restaurants, they're all pretty new. Parking garage to the left there. We're going under the bridge now. We're still on Water Street, I think, but there will be a street coming up soon that will less connect back to 17, which is uh, the bridge carries Route 17 into Gloucester. Watermint Museum. And that's pretty much all of Yorktown. It's not a too much to drive through. There's a lot of interesting spots that I could probably go on about all day if I was like really spending time down here. I thought we'd give a quick sort of drive through of Yorktown. There's not really too much to, well there's a lot to see but there's not really too much to see just driving around. You kind of have to get out and like really see the spots if you want to get a good look at it but it's a pretty quick drive through. It's a nice area to visit certainly. This will connect us to Route 17. You'll see it come up in a minute. That's the main route that connects Gloucester and York. It's a pretty major thoroughfare. You can see it right up here, and that's pretty much all Yorktown. You can see uh, Ambler Street. There's a few houses down that way, but this is pretty much it. This is the major highway, so we're going to take a right here, and uh, I guess in the next median, we're going to U-turn or whatnot. I don't know if we can here or not. Nope. No left turn, no U-turn. So we have to go down a little farther. This is pretty much it. As you can see, this is a pretty major highway. And Yorktown's right over that away. But we are out of Yorktown now. Even though we're still in Yorktown, but I mean we're out of like actual like Yorktown, the original Yorktown. This is still all considered. The whole area is called Yorktown, though, not just the actual town itself. I think with that, I'm just gonna about wrap it up now. Thanks for watching, you guys. What do you think of this whole excursion, Dad? Pretty interesting. You heard it here first, guys. So I'm just going to end this short. And by the way, I'm still looking for questions for the Ask Carmen video. You can leave them in the comments of this video or in the comments of the last video I made talking about how to swag. That was just sort of a joke. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this format, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll try to make more videos of places like this, just driving around, having a good time. It's just sort of a weekend vlog format my dad and I getting out. And uh, yeah, there's not really much else to say. I just hope all of you have a good one. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. I hope you, all of you have a good one. All of my links are in the description if you want to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, what whatnot. And I hope all of you have a good one. And peace out, guys.